Good morning, everyone. So, you guys know how much I love this Ultra Mint Pro from 80s. This device is absolutely amazing. I have so many, so many endodontic ultrasonic units, and they just break down on me. I don't know why, but they seem to be low quality, even though I buy them here in the United States. They just break. Uh, the tip breaks, the handle breaks, um, and they just don't work usually. But this unit, this unit has been amazing. I've been using it for over a year. And it's just, it performs as I want it to. Uh, and it's been absolutely fantastic. So thank you to eight. You guys should know me by now. If this product sucked, I would not have uh, made a video or multiple videos about it already. So it really works. It's a great unit. A few weeks ago, I received these two units from ATs, Fast Fill and Fast Pack Pro. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to use them. So today I have a sedation patient and I'm going to um, unbox these and I'm going to use them and I'm going to give you my opinion about them, uh, whether I like them or not. So stay tuned and I will be testing these two units. So first off, I just love the fact that they're these everything I get from ATs, they're just so professionally packed. I mean, it's just amazing how professionally everything is packed and put together. It's just amazing. Let's unpack this one. I mean, look how beautiful the packaging is just by itself. Beautiful packaging. Everything is here. Excellent. So this is the unit. That's the uh, charger there. Let's just open these. Really nice. So the charging unit, the handpiece, these are the different tips, different sizes. Very cool. The charging cable and the uh, conversion piece here. And you just slide this in and snaps in. And then you connect this piece to the back of this unit for charging. So let me do that. So hook that up to here and it's on. Let's put the handle on. Excellent, very good. So the unit comes with these three uh, heating needles, they call them, uh, varying sizes and, uh, and uh, diameters. And that's what you want because you want to be able to take this, carry this to about three to five millimeters away from your working length. So you need varying sizes and diameters. I usually start from the largest, cut the master gutter percha point, condense and go to the next size and then finally go to the the thinner size and condense um, after each um, heating cycle. So these are great for that purpose. So this is it. I put the largest one in, it just slides in and let's just go ahead and recharge this. So it's ready for our patient. Okay, so let's open the fast fill now. Just beautiful packaging again. 
I love the packaging, it's just so professional. So here's the handle of the fast fill and the rest of them are here. So let's unbox these next. And this is charging beautifully. You can see the green light. And in this box, you have the cartridge. <laughs> you have the gutta percha pellets. <laughs> Beautiful packaging, man. Everything you need right out of the box. That's the bending tool to bend the tip and the charger. So let's put everything together and see, see what we got back in a second. So here it is and it's charging. And look at this. I mean, when I talk about packaging, look at this. It's hermetically sealed. And I have to break the seal now. Just beautifully packaged. All right, so here's the other part. They call it a cartridge. And these are autoclavable and you can use them on multiple patients. You just need to autoclave them after each patient. All right, so to load the gutta percha, you just take one of these pellets, gutta percha pellets, and you insert it into the handpiece from the top. It goes in here and then you take one of these cartridges and you just easily screw it on the handpiece. Boom, and you're set to go. If you need to bend the tip, you use this device. So they've pretty much given you everything you need. So you just use this device to bend the tip however you like it to be whichever direction and you just bend it with this with this device don't use your fingers you will break the tip and these are auto clavable all right so stay tuned i'm going to use them today on our patient and report back so i'm optimistic eight teeth really makes amazing products all right, so the gutta percha goes in here. Boom, just like that. And I think this is the tool to push it down if you have to, and then just screw this on. Boom, okay. All right, so this is, there's a little arrow here. If you press, you activate it. You press again, you deactivate it. So that's the, that's the gutta percha cutter, the heating unit. All right, so let's go here. Um, Franklin, but not a whole lot of things not worth your time. No, yeah. Crazy. But I mean, some, you know, you'd be surprised. It's focusing on his hand. Excellent. Let's bend this, but not break it. Okay. All right. Okay. Excellent. So there's a button there. You just hold on to the button. Just hold the button down, and it extrudes the gutta percha for you into the canal, just like that. I don't know if you can see my mirror. All right, wipe this for me. Hold on to it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's turn that.
This patient was referred to me for endodontic treatment of tooth number 14. The entire palatal half of the tooth was cracked off and missing. Patient, uh, when she was younger, had jaw surgery and you can see there is a peripical relucency associated with the tooth and very close to these screws. This is the tooth. As you can see, the entire palatal half is missing and there is a palatal sinus tract associated with it as well. So let's look at the post-op now. Let's look at multiple angulation PA. So in this x-ray, you can clearly see the palatal root 23 millimeters and look at all of this anatomy. Look how many portals of exit. It just like fireworks. That is the distal buckle. You can see we went to length. MB1 and MB2. In this angulation, you can see a lateral into the lesion and look at how many anastomoses between the MB1 and MB2.